Alright, so this is what Jack. See Jack, and we're back for your pre-training camp. Training camp starts next week. And we're gonna uh, talk about the Miller Electric Center that's doing the ribbon cutting tomorrow. And I should be back to you after the ribbon cutting. Tell y'all what's going on with that facility and how fans can be involved with watching training camp this year. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Today is the 17th. The deadline was 4 p.m. for Evan Ingram to sign the contract. He's assigned the free agent tag or they get it worked out and he gets a new new deal, new negotiated deal after that one year show me deal last year. And without fail, which I'm so happy and glad that they were able to do it, yesterday afternoon, about between 12 and two o'clock in the afternoon, we got word from Adam Schefter uh, that Evan Ingram and the Jaguars were able to sign a long-term three-year deal. I'm not too sure on the, the, the specifics of the deal i know it's 24 million dollars guaranteed and uh but he's gonna be here at least for the next two years uh the contract is for three but i heard that the uh, third year is a lot of money um and a big cap hit so let's let's pray for at least two years without any incident and uh any injuries and and hopefully he can continue what he did last year add on to it add a lot more numbers to the thing all right so let's get into it what we're looking forward to and training camp for sure we're looking for trevor and calvin ridley to get that work in get that timing in they've been doing a lot of training off scene off in the background you know what i mean you see videos pop up on twitter instagram of them getting that work in so let's get this stuff solidified you already know kurt and zay have their comfortability with trevor so we are just gonna add really to the mix uh I saw a post by the Jaguars the other day, and they got five running backs. I hope they're able to keep all five for the year because I really hate anybody to go. Um, the only person I really possibly can see going is Snoop Connor. I hope he doesn't. I hope he stays around because I really like this game. But uh, five running backs is a lot. And um, it's kind of crazy seeing that around the league, a lot of these prominent running backs have still not signed after the deadline, the franchise tag deadline. So running backs are really, they're really on the chopping block when it comes to uh, how they're sticking around in the league. And it's kind of crazy that like, there's so many running backs out there, but they're not getting paid. They're not getting signed. It's just like, it's, the market is saturated with running backs. And it's, it's, it's wild to me. It's crazy to see how the game is changing. All right, so next up, we're gonna be taking a look in training camp, of course. We're gonna be spotlighting and trying to make sure that our number one overall pick, uh, the offensive lineman from Oklahoma, is uh, lives up to the field. We saw him back in OTAs, and he looked really good, really fast, athletic. He can move with the best of them. Like, for that dude to be that size and move the way he moves, this really is impressive. I want to see how strong he is against Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen, and I also want to see how he handles Jarcia Abdullah. They, uh, they got into it a little bit. Not got into it as in fighting. But they had a couple of little battles in uh, OTA, which were very interesting. And I don't think a lot of people were paying attention to on the sideline. Another player during OTAs that I really took a liking to was uh, Tyler Lacey out of uh, Oklahoma State. I believe he was. He was Cowboy. Uh, he, he's a really strong guy, too. And I hope that he's able to get some pass rush, even though he's an interior uh, defensive lineman. I really look forward to seeing how he handles uh, training camp, his first training camp. Another one, Jordan Smith. He's been, uh, he got drafted about two years ago and he's been injured. And uh, he was, he's really a specimen. So I'm hoping this is his breakout year and uh, he can take over what uh, Arden Key is leaving behind in the city that he built. Air quotes. <laughs> but hey man, say man, I think we're gonna get up out of here. Now do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and TikTok and like us, subscribe to us, follow us, whatever it takes, man. We're going to make it. I hope we all win. It's your boy Jackson, D. Jackson. Happy 2023. We almost there, man. Almost the training camp, almost the preseason, almost the regular season, man. We And we gone.